A few years ago, SRAM released its Eagle Drive train, a 1x12 system with massive range and for riders like me, an extra bailout gear on long climbs. But if you're like most mountain bikers, the extra cost of upgrading to an Eagle Drive train or buying even a complete bike that would come with an Eagle Drive train didn't quite seem worth the payout. With the release of SRAM NX Eagle 1x12, SRAM's Eagle system has now trickled all the way down to its most budget 1x system. But does this really mean that there's an Eagle for everyone? If you've kept up with some of my other videos, you've probably seen that I recently sold my Specialized Enduro and I'm now waiting on a Santa Cruz Hightower LT. Wow, there are a lot of negatives about waiting on a bike and being in between a mountain bike, especially when you're as impatient as I am. There are a few positives that come with it and one of those positives is making you get a little bit creative about how you're gonna mountain bike. This has led me to a lot of opportunities to try and ride different mountain bikes. One such bike has been the 2019 Santa Cruz Hightower R-Build, which actually comes stock with SRAM NX Eagle as the group said on it. I'll get into my review and how I feel NX Eagle actually performed out on the trail in a little bit, but first I kinda wanna talk about where I think NX really slots into the SRAM drivetrain lineup. The easiest comparison to draw for NX Eagle is to that of GX Eagle. And if you look at the drivetrains, they're actually really similar. For example, the SRAM NX Eagle shifter costs $42, while the GX Eagle shifter is a mere $3 more at $45. And beyond the fact that you got GX stamped on one and NX stamped on the other, I really can't discern a very big difference between the two. This is compared to a massive price jump from $45 on the GX Eagle shifter, all the way up to $130 on the X01 shifter. Now as a quick side note, the X01 shifter is decidedly different than the NX and GX shifters, but we'll talk a little bit more about that later on. The trend in price similarity continues with the NX derailleur costing $107, while the GX derailleur is $125. The main point I'm trying to get at though, is looking at these first few components, is there really any big benefit to the addition of NX Eagle? I mean, GX is already a massive price saving from the cost of X01 Eagle, and you're only looking at marginal price gains when you switch to NX from GX. Well, the thing is NX Eagle's true place in the lineup doesn't really become apparent until you look at the cassettes. Now, part of this again is the price. The GX Eagle cassette is $215 compared to a much cheaper $100 for the NX Eagle cassette. But it goes beyond that. The NX cassette is also fundamentally different from every other cassette in SRAM Eagle's lineup. Instead of using a SRAM XD driver, it uses a standard splined free hub body. This means wheels with lock ring cassettes, which includes most older and cheaper wheels, as well as wheels that were using Shimano drivetrains up until this newest version of XTR, are now compatible with that NX cassette. A big difference you'll notice right off the bat between the XD driver cassette and the standard cassette is those cassettes on the XD driver will actually be a single piece whether it's machined that way, like the X01 cassette, or it's separate pieces that have been pinned together like the GX cassette. The NX cassette, on the other hand, is multiple pieces that line up to fit on the splined freehub body. With this being the case, the NX cassette is also only compatible with splined freehub bodies and not XD drivers. And still having a lock ring on the NX cassette, the smallest tooth count is a little bit different than on the XD driver cassettes. You have an 11 to 50 tooth range as compared to a 10 to 50 tooth range. So you do lose out on a tiny bit of range there on the high end of the cassette. Before the NX cassette, you needed an XD driver to use SRAM Eagle group sets. So that means if you didn't already have an XD driver on your wheel set, you'd have to purchase an XD driver for an extra cost of $100. This all leads me to where I think NX Eagle fits in. I think NX Eagle is Eagle for everyone in the sense that with its addition, there's now an Eagle group set compatible with a wide range of wheel sets and build kits. It's opened up the door for more entry level price point bikes to actually come out of the box with 1x12 drivetrains. In my opinion, NX Eagle's greatest addition to the Eagle drivetrain system is its cassette. This cassette is really what opens it up to add a lot of options for what wheel sets it's compatible with and to make the cost of upgrading a little bit cheaper 
and also the upgrade itself a little bit simpler. I think if you have a wheel set that already has an XD driver, you're probably better off if you're looking for the more budget end of things to just go with the full GX Eagle group set because you're gonna have to use a GX Eagle cassette anyways and that's really where the big chunk of cost comes. Other than that, the savings are only gonna be marginal and I do think there's a few gains, like I said earlier, with the derailleur construction on the GX group set that it just make more sense to go out and get that GX group. The high tower I rode was freshly built, so everything was in really good shape. And overall, I think the shifting felt really crisp on the NX Eagle. The Specialized Enduro I rode over the last couple seasons had X01 Eagle on it. So I'm pretty used to the Eagle drivetrain and the gearing on it. So the X01 definitely is kind of my point of reference when I'm talking about the NX Eagle drivetrain. And surprisingly to some, I actually think it stacks up pretty well. I'm far from a tech expert and I'm not the most picky when it comes to my stuff being really finely and perfectly tuned. But overall, with my experience on NX, I felt like everything shifted well, and honestly not that far off from the crispness and smoothness that I got from the X01 cassette for a couple years. If you're watching this video to see if you really need the range of an Eagle drivetrain, I can't tell you that because I don't know if anyone really needs it, but I can't tell you once you go 50 tooth, you don't move. Fine. Yes, I'm sorry, that was a really bad attempt at that. Um, we can continue on and just say that I've used the bitch out gear on it plenty. And since I've been using the bitch out gear for two years now, my next bike is gonna have Eagle on it as well. Um, so I'm a fan of the range and I think you can run a little bit bigger chain ring on the front. Anyhow, I didn't really notice that there's less of a hard pedal gear with the 11 tooth as opposed to a 10 tooth, but this could play more of a role on more time spent on it or even with the fact that these aren't the fastest trails, so I wasn't having to spend a lot of time in that highest pedaling gear. So maybe on steeper, faster trails, you would notice not having quite as heavy of a biggest gear. Like I said before, there are definitely some detractors from Eagle, and one of those I wanna mention real quick is that the tuning on them can be finicky as all get out. Um, and NX Eagle was no different. One thing that can really screw it up in a hurry is the derailleur hanger being just a little bit bent. Now that'll screw any shifting up, but I think it just transmits almost tenfold on Eagle drivetrains. They do some crazy things when the derailleur hanger is a little bit bent, and NX was no different. I noticed that, and it caused some issues, but after my ride, I straightened it right back up, and all the issues subsided pretty easily. Clearly, NX weighs more than the rest of the group sets, and a lot of this is in the weight of the cassette, being that it's not one machined piece. But, to be dead honest, um, my last bike, was a Cartman bike, but it still weighed about 33 pounds and four pounds of that was a coil shock. So I'm not the best at telling a noticeable weight difference when you're talking a few hundred grams. Another thing I did notice besides having to get that tuning right with the derailleur hanger is I had a slight issue with the shifter. This has less to do with the NX shifter being bad and more to do with the X01 shifter that I rode for the last few years being so good. The NX and GX shifter are both quite similar. They're both pretty standard shifters and have a spring tension lever to get you to the higher range of the cassette or if you're talking the easier pedaling gears. This is compared to the X01 shifter which has an adjustable position and a super light action on that same shifter to get to that higher range. The problem I did run into on the trails was that I wasn't really completing the full throw through it. I got so used to the lighter action of the other shifter that the little bit harder action on this shifter I was kind of getting myself stuck between gears a lot and just grinding through that. So I think that's definitely something with the time on it, I would just get used to that shifter as opposed to the other one and really wouldn't have that issue or have that be a prevalent issue that I think you should be warned about. Overall, I think the NX Eagle drivetrain was crisp, reliable, and there to bail my ass out when I needed the old granny gear. I think NX Eagle is a good step for SRAM in opening the 1x12 drivetrain to a wider range of riders and a wider range of build kit. If you're not interested in 12 speed, of course I don't think it makes any sense for you to ride it. But if you're looking at getting into a 12 speed group set and wanna save a little bit on the money and save a little bit on wheel swaps if you don't already have an XD driver, I think NX Eagle is a great option. If you like this video, let me know with a thumbs up and think about subscribing if you wanna see more. Are you interested in getting NX Eagle for yourself or are you pretty happy with the range your bike already has? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the new NX Eagle. We'll be back early next week with a video about what I've been doing while waiting for the new bike. All right, guys, that'll do it. Thanks for joining me. Stay shreddy, my friends.